G'day. In today's video, I'm doing a display replacement on a Samsung Galaxy S10 5G, which is a very weird phone. It's got the stylings of a... If we have a look, it's got a weird curve here. It's got the stylings of a S20. It's the size of an S10 Plus, but it's called an S10 5G. So, it's one that I haven't really worked on before. So it's a new one to me, but I have had this one opened up, and that's when I discovered I had the wrong parts. So to begin with, we want to use some or a thin metal pry tool, some isopropyl, and also I've got it on my blue heat mat here, which has been heating it up to 75 degrees Celsius for about the last five minutes. But granted, I've had this off once before, so it's going to come off pretty straightforward for me. Do be careful not to go too far in down here, as at the lower half of the phone there is some flex cables you can potentially damage. So do be cautious of that. As I said, for me it's come off relatively easily. But do be cautious on this side, as this right here is one of the flex connectors going down to the charger port. Once we've got the back off, from there we're going to need to use a Phillips head screwdriver and proceed to take out the screws. Don't be too concerned as all these ones here at the moment are all simply the same style. shielding as well. No, that one is being stubborn. Take off that plastic shield. I have to start down here. And lift this up. Do have two more screws that need to come out first. One shield. Disconnect your battery when you can. And well, Mr. Burns, I've done it. Now, I'll try and take this part out. There we go. As you can see, the two screws came out with it. I'll put them in the tray over here, just so they're not lost. And now, from here, I'm going to disconnect the charge board and the other little flex cable. Now, I've got four screws along the bottom here to take out. I'm going to take those out, put them in the tray in a separate position. Granted, they are the same size, but I like to keep different part, different screws in different positions, just so I know and remember. It's good practice. There, there, here. Now, I will still keep this on the heat, but I'm going to bring along the new screen, or the new, yes, the new screen. And I'll leave that all connected. Disconnect that one. Disconnect the audio jack. Now you've got three screws on the charger board to take out. And as you can see on the new one, we don't need to move the vibrating motor. Not sure if it has a different name nowadays, but that's how I tend to remember it. And there we go. We're up. Put that there dig underneath there and take this out, put it in over here, Oops, sorry, zoom in a little bit further, proceed, uh, next of all I'm probably going to take out the battery, so I'll put these away just for the minute, now batteries I find that I tend to spray a thin bead of isopropyl, but just dribble down there, and then usually it's a pry tool, and that usually works reasonably well. 
Granted, in my instance, it's going to work very well because I've had this out once before. But as you can see, that's the pattern for the battery. So now that's out of the way. Now, one thing I have forgotten to take out is the SIM tray. Let's do that now. There we go. And next up, daughter board, which, well, the main board. One connector here to disconnect. Now this one here is for the display itself. And with that removed, I'm not seeing any other screws. I'll have to t disconnect the buttons over here. There we go. And if I just pry in a corner and lift up, uh, where will they go? Just under here. There we go. Gently lift up and out. And one main board removed. Store that over the side just for a minute. And now I'm just going to compare what I see with what's here. So far, it looks like there's nothing else that I need to move over. I do have to take off these various stickers or protecting film, whatever you want to call it. Uh, broken, good, fine. Now we do want to have a look at the front facing camera. It's nice and clear. I'm just looking down on here on the old one. It is damaged, but the new on yeah it didn't actually protrude through, so that's fine. Fold up, fold up, and now I should just be able to drop this in. Wiggle it slightly. There we go. This needs to fold over. down to the display, wiggle it into position, then push down, and it should make a noticeable snap kind of noise. When you hear that noise, it's typically it moving into position. The old frame, don't need no more, it's done, you can go away. Take out the film for the battery down here. There is no adhesive there, so you're gonna, you are going to have to use your own. I'm just using some generic 3M tape. Doesn't have really much strength to it, but all it has to do is stop the battery from rocking inside the frame, and it will do that just fine. So I'll just put a strip. Uh, where's the best spots to go? I'll simply go here and here, just in case if I do need to take it out, I can clean up the tape rather than putting it on there. There we go, and one battery I want to put in. I will temporarily connect it. I do that just so that I know the battery will, or the battery flex cable and connector will still match up no matter where I put the battery. So right now there's power connected to the board, push down, and then disconnect the battery. So now I know I can get that back on quite easily. Next up, let's focus down the bottom half of the phone, down here. Now we'll move this up and out of the way. And we need to put this one in. There we go. Focus on getting the charger port all the way down to the bottom here, before you push down, like that. And now we're right to screw that in. Push down, hold. One screw, two screw, and let's go. Now I say three screw, but I don't think that is the location of it. Nope, it is. There we go. Now we've got to connect up the 3.5mm jack, which that is connected. Basically all we should have to do is push that back down. The curvature of the flex cable should still have enough memory in it to be able to realign itself quite easily. So just wiggle it a little bit and then push down. Now we're gonna go this over. I tend to put it, push it in on an angle down to this section first. So it's snug right up. Uh, that way. And then push down. There we go, and you heard that made some noise. So I'm happy with that being in this position. 
Uh, time to put the remaining four screws back in. All Phillips head, all universal. Now that done, and move higher up the phone. Now we want to connect the daughterboard flex or uh, USB connector. Here we go. Same with the other one. Just hold it, wiggle it, push down. It tends to click it into place fairly well. Next up from here, we do have a slight challenge. This one here, which I believe is for NFC. Fold that over and push down on the connector as well. Now, when from the right spot, you should be able to wiggle it and just push down. There we go, that's on. Now we'll reconnect the battery. Battery connected, USB, NFC, display, USB, power button. Next up, we have got the top section. Now I'm curious what actually went on over here. But being it's such a bits and model, it doesn't really surprise me. I'll move that out of the way. Slightly. There we go. Good, 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 good. Now it's time to put the remaining screws back in. As I said previously, all Phillips head. All Phillips head, all same length, doesn't matter where they go. Now at the end I will point out all the locations I just screwed them in, as my hand is covering up a fair few of them. So we had screws in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, all those. Then from here, I've also had my back cover on the heat blue heat mat in the background here. So from here, all we really should have to do is put that back on, use a bit more heat, maybe put a like a band over it to hold it in. If the gasket didn't come out as good as that, you may have to replace it, or we put new fresh tape. I'm going to line it up, wiggle it on, wiggle it on, then put the SIM tray and SIM card back in. Bingo. And from there, you should have one brand new screen and frame on your Samsung Galaxy S5 S10. 5G. What a mouthful of words. Anyway, that will do for today, and I will see you guys later. Bye.